the other. Watch your ears. February 9, 2023. We're looking at a static fire. We're alternating between um, pressurization cycles here. Watch your ears, it's gonna get real loud. So it's February 9, 2023. All right, sounds like they've moved to the next type of thing. They're not doing that pressurization cycle anymore. We got uh, several sheriffs here to the left. Old finish, uh, that's correct. It's a big day today, apparently. I think Gwen, Gwen Shotwell said today was gonna be the static fire. We got several sheriffs here, kind of more than usual. Currently 7.03 a.m., so we have um, preparations for the road closure beginning. We've got another hour before the road closure. This area here, um, was very foggy. I got some video of it earlier. I'll be posting it. I won't be here today, but I will get some of the pre-game show. Uh, you'll have to check in with some of the other people. I will be welding today, continuing my structural welding class. And that's where I'll be today. Hope everything goes good. Uh, otherwise, tomorrow there's another opportunity for SpaceX to do the 33 engine Raptor fire plan for today, but could happen tomorrow. If you have any interest in uh, connecting professionally, uh, there is LinkedIn and there's uh, about almost 3,000 connections now on LinkedIn. If you're a professional, and you care about space and the Ocean Cam mission, check us out on LinkedIn, Ocean Camera Space Corp. We got about 800 connections, uh, almost 900 now on LinkedIn, but uh, personally I've got almost 3,000. Yeah, the road closure starts in an hour, so uh, you gotta get here early if you wanna get any video in person. Everybody else is gonna be a robot. Only robots are gonna be allowed past this area in about one hour. Uh, most of the SpaceX personnel are gone. The main gate is closed. I will be getting a shot of that before the stream is over. But uh, not too many people here. You see there's red, red lights on the tower, meaning uh, stay away. That's what it means. Robots only, close to the tower. So, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how all this weathers with the 33 engine static fire. Maybe they'll have to do a lot of concrete work afterwards if that new type of concrete underneath the orbital launch pad form doesn't work so well. 
maybe the water deluge system is not going to work so well. We'll have to see all of that works today, if it happens today. And that's what's in store. I'm going to get some shots with the Nikon camera too.
All right, I got a bunch of photos of the um, Starship um, in the booster. Alrighty, I'll be posting that a little later. Uh, I got the uh, the whole booster itself. I'm gonna move next to the main gate. I'll check in with some of the comments here. Hey Ken, Tony, basement shut in. Captain, good morning. You guys got a good day in for you uh, if you're gonna be able to watch some of the other stuff, some of the other cameras. Thanks, Captain, I didn't know that. Third through engine Raptor static fire today. Good stuff. I'll move the uh, tripod a little bit, get a shot of the starship from here as well. They've cleared out the main area over there by the main gate, so it is a, uh, a closed gate up there. I'm gonna walk down there, that's where I parked, and we'll get some shots from that angle as well. I'll do a live stream from there. I'm gonna continue, I'll, but I'll walk down. we at about uh, two, three minutes to walk down that way. So. Got a little bit of that camera over there you guys were seeing me from. Thanks for telling me about it. Yep, Lab Padre on the bottom right. Bottom right. So I'm going to start walking to the main gate there. Good morning to you whenever you're watching this, wherever. This is the February 9, 2023 preparation for the big static fire of the booster expected later today. If not today, then tomorrow. Best, best case scenario, today or tomorrow. There's a bunch of photographers over there down by the dunes setting up their cameras, so you'll have a lot of opportunities to see different different sites today and throughout the coming weeks. There's going to be a lot of people getting these shot here today. Looks pretty good. See over here to the right, it's uh, empty. Um, that one truck up there is the Ocean Camera Space Corp truck. Ocean Cam. To the north, we have uh, South Potter Island across the way. And so in every direction, it's pretty clear. There's uh, no, no personnel, no people within several miles of this area and they'll be closing off the area during the testing. Another sheriff going down by the beach. You see off to the right here is all uh, federal parkland or state federal, I don't know, fish and wildlife. They keep it a little bit, uh, they don't put any signs up so you don't really know who governs that area. It's either state park or federal park. Uh, and both of those entities exist. Uh, we have both the, the federal and the state. This could be state area over there, but uh, yep. All right, we're starting to get up onto the main gate here. You can see the gate is closed. Kind of like, uh, like a New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve type thing going on here. Nobody around. Maybe it's like, uh, I don't know if it's, it would be like Hanukkah, but definitely like a New Year's Eve. I mean, a Christmas Eve kind of thing. What is that called? The night before Christmas is uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Uh, 
see they have uh, the crane facing away. Uh, we have almost no wind this morning. So if the mic dies, let me know. If you don't hear anything, let me know and I will take off the mic because we don't really need it right now. Okay. All right, uh, the hoop. Hoop cam is right here, if you're watching from there as well. We got you. All right, so I'll, I'll stop for a minute here in front of the main gate, and then I'll move a little bit to the right. I'll get a couple shots from here. All right, so this is normally uh, a, a, a guard here. There's probably still a guard here, but, and trucks going in and out all day. Um, let's see, um, and we still got that light bulb up there. That's the one that in the middle of the night makes all that light. And to the, so they've got, they've got the, um, I guess it's worth noting they have a couple of these stands parked uh, right over there, I guess away from the platform, a little bit away from the launch platform. Thomas Ireland, good stuff. Cherry, good stuff. Yeah, thanks, uh, old Finnish. Uh, and good day to you. So they have the area very cleared. They. Um, we just got a bunch of birds come by. I will lift up the camera so we can get a little shot over the, over that gate. I can also stand up in the back of my truck too and get that shot as well. Let me go like this. Just so maybe you get a different shot over, over the gate there of the tanks too in the distance, those white tanks. I'll stand up in the back of my truck too, but I just wanna do a little bit right now. I'm still walking around outside the truck right now. Here we go. All right, we got the better shot here. I guess, uh, here we go, this is gonna be good. Do a couple more shots here. Birdman, good morning. Hey, am. There's a artificial intelligence called Dolly, D A L L E, Dolly, and it makes a uh, photos and pictures. All you have to do is type in a few words into the free artificial intelligence and it'll make you whatever type of photo or video or uh, diagram or picture you'd like. So if you look at some of the videos from yesterday, February 8, 2023, you will see I did make a video there with a bunch of different photos and everything else. And that was all created by artificial intelligence to depending on what I put into the thing. So that was the Ocean Camera Space Corp 25 years ago. Those are all created within an hour. I created all those photos and within two hours, I put together the video with some music and uploaded it. So if you're looking for a graphic artist to make you some photos and you'd like to spend $50 and pay someone on Fiverr to make you a bunch of 
souped up photos. All you have to do is go to this DALI website, put in a sentence or two, whatever you would normally tell your graphic artist, and it will give you four photos. It'll give you actually 50 questions for free. And uh, I think you get an extra 20 every month, so for free. So you could theoretically do 50 uh, requests for photos uh, from this artificial intelligence and it will do similar work as any graphic artist will do for you. And you can pay a lot for the money uh, for, your, for your artwork, or you just go to this little artificial intelligence website and it'll do it for you for free. So. D-A-L-L-E, Dolly. All right, I'm gonna get a different shot here. I'm gonna go to stand up on the back of my truck and get some last shots and then I'll uh, maybe uh, do a few other things. But this is gonna be the last shot for the live stream, I think. All right. I'm gonna take it off the tripod too and get a few other shots. All right. I'm gonna actually stand up on the top of my truck here. I got that shot. That was kind of a good shot. All right, here we go. I guess I'll just wing it and hold the tripod. There was a bunch of venting coming from out from underneath the, the booster there. Could have been good to be over by the Lab Padre cam. They probably got a good shot of that when that happened. All right. Anyway. Anyway, so that's that's that. There we go. All right. If they do it again, I'll get the shot. Here we go, got the uh, tripod set up. Here we go. Yes, if you can't zoom in, the next best thing is to, is to zoom out. Zoom out if you can't zoom in. I'm gonna leave the uh, live stream here and I will uh, get some shots and leave this here. Let's see if the, um, as I stand off the top of the roof here, yeah, the, the image changes. Anyway, I think we're still good though. I'm gonna get some shots with the other camera. Uh, uh, yeah, forget it. I'm gonna take that off the top there. That'll be it. I will end this live stream. And wish you the best for today. I'm going to be watching as well all the other live streams. So good luck to SpaceX and uh, good luck to the world, the planet. It's going to be a lot if we get this 33-inch static fire.
without any mishaps. A lot of, uh, there have been a couple of tour buses coming through here in the last few days, as well as, I believe, kind of like a police, uh, there was a police vehicle here a couple days ago with um, a large uh, tour bus leaving. So that may have been a bunch of uh, stakeholders here at SpaceX or investors, etc. cetera. Uh, so there have been some uh, big wigs here in the last couple days. And so everybody's uh, hoping. I wouldn't say praying because space people don't usually pray, but uh, hoping is what I would use. Take care, good luck, I'll see you next time.